is a wrestling company based in the South England, I assume, and they put on shows here where I live in Basingstoke roughly once a month. And I, I, I've been to all the ones that I've been able to, that I've been in town for. Um, now, I already made a video, oh, at least a year ago, because we'd been, and it's the first one we went to actually, and at the first one we went to, they had Billy Gunn and Hulk or Holly there. And um, I made a little video about, you know, seeing them, and then we all got photos done with <sighs> Billy Gunn. Well, Polly did not do photos or, or, or any interaction at all. But yeah, um, Billy Gunn was really, really nice. Since then, most of the shows, they, you know, they don't want to rely too heavily on, on Peace Stars from America. I'd imagine it's insanely expensive to get them over here. And um, they have been let down a few times by people who were meant to be coming and either didn't come or did come but got turned back at customs, which is, you know, just one of those risks you take. So we've been to a few shows where they've said, you know, people are going to be there and then they haven't. I know they got let down quite badly by Hurricane Helms at the end of last year. Well, I say let down. We don't know the story, how it goes. But the point is, he was meant to come, he didn't come. Um, which on the one hand, I was quite disappointed about because... I do actually quite like him, I think he's really funny, especially if you follow him on Twitter, he really is quite funny. But um, on the other hand, I was actually out of town and couldn't go anyway. <laughs> so part of me was like, haha, well, at least I'm not missing out now. Um, yeah, but more recently, sort of the last few months, the only star from outside of, you know, the BBPW company that they've had was... Um, Magnus, sorry, forgot his name for a second there. <laughs> Magnus, who currently wrestles as Magnus in TNA. And, yeah, so we got to meet him. Um, he did photos in the ring. He was he was playing a good guy. He came in and, you know, beat up all the bad guys. And um, he's really good, really, really good. And he's really nice. And he did photos in the ring for a couple of quid. And he, right, this is observation number one. He's quite tall. Got a lovely body, he's extremely good looking, but the thing that you would only know by hugging up close to him is the guy smells amazing. I don't know what showering products he uses, or like it must be some kind of perfume or something because that guy smelt awesome. Um, a kind of vanilla-y, oh, it was nice because uh, <laughs> you had to queue up and then you go in the ring one at a time and then you have to go sit down again, and so sort of. I can't think if I went first or not, but by the time I went and sat down with my friends and my boyfriend, and the first thing we said to each other was, oh, didn't he smell amazing? <laughs> so yeah, next time, if you watch TNA, I don't know if you do, I do, sometimes. Um, yeah, if you see Magnus, just gotta remember, he smells amazing. And that's it. <laughs> um, yeah, BPW, next show, as far as I can remember, is Thursday the 24th of February, which is literally one week today, so if you live anywhere near Hampshire, in England, just get yourself down there. They're really funny. Um, it's, it's the guys from the local area this time. Um, local hero is Rob Holt, he's from Basingstoke. He's really cool, we like him. There's a young guy called Jake McCluskey, who's really good. Um, I've really appreciated how much better he has got. Not that he was bad to start with, but over the year I've been going, he is really getting it now he's really good um he's the one that appeals to the little girls <laughs> my boyfriend's daughter is just madly in love with him um as a young guy called nathan who who looks like one of the hardy boys when they were younger um the uk kid is is my personal favorite he's just so funny especially if you can get him to sing or dance which <laughs> Which only happened the one time, but I thought it was fantastically funny. He's so entertaining. Um, but yeah, last month there was a really big, fat guy with the physique of a beach ball who was being evil. And he squashed poor little Jake, my boyfriend's daughter. Freya, you may have seen her on some of my videos. She was distraught on the verge of crying mm -hmm. because poor Jake got crushed by the big fat man. Um, and then at the end of the show, the big fat man also crushed Rob Holt from Basing Circle. So out so he's coming back and Rob is gonna get him so there <laughs> as long as he doesn't get squashed like a pancake under the fat man I can't think what the man was called it began with K it was like Carl Carl Kramer can't remember it's a good show you should come if not they go to Portsmouth they go to other places and I'm bigging them up so they better like this video I'll talk to you soon bye, bye.